Hey everyone, welcome to another uh, Cryptical uh, Heli update. <clears throat> and uh, uh, today I'm starting work on a tricopter. And um, I built kind of a foamy test bed. And I really like the way that it flew. So uh, I've decided to go and, and see about building, uh, building one a little bit better. Uh, instead of building it out of foam, I think I'm going to use some T-Rex 600 parts and uh, some various things laying around. Um, I saw a really neat uh, motor design set up uh, for the tail for the tail uh, the tail motor the yaw. So uh, kind of what I got going on is there's going to be a block. There's going to be a block of wood like this. There's going to be a servo mounted in that block, and then there's going to be a little pivot arm right here, and a little pivot platform for the motor. So I went ahead and cut up the uh, the pivot platform and uh, set it up for my motor. I'm using uh, I'm using BP Hobbies. Uh, I'm using a 2217-9. It's a 9 950 kV motor. Uh, the servo I'm using is a uh, Hyperion Atlas uh, DS12 HCP. It's a helicopter servo. So basically, what's going on is the the uh, you know I, I I cut myself some 1 16th ply, and then I used some uh, some spruce that I had laying around some spruce uh, square stock or triangular stock. I think it's three eighths of an inch, something like that. Um, anyway, I glued, I, I, I cut, uh, you know, cut a little piece of plywood for the uh, for the motor mount, and uh, you know, cut two pieces of plywood. Then I glued it together uh, with that bar stock in the middle, and uh, used drill press to drill four holes for the motor mount. So that's all good. So the motor will fit on there like that. On the uh, front side, I just uh, secured a servo horn to it. Uh, using a couple of screws, and that will fit right onto the servo, like so. <clears throat> In the back side of it, what I did was I used a uh, a drill bit to kind of uh, drill out the uh, the back end of the wood, and I got a uh, this is this is a spindle from a T Rex 450, and this is one of the bearings that comes in the T Rex 450 the T Rex 450 uh, blade grips. And uh, the hole that I drilled will allow this this bearing to sit down in there, like so. And then that will go right here, and the uh, the rest of the spindle will go through a piece of uh, of wood, and it'll be secured on the end with a uh, a little uh, main rotor securing thingy. Um, I have no idea what that thing, what that piece is called, but anyway, it'll be secured with a with a uh, a little grub screw, and then of course the servo is going to be connected directly to the wooden platform. Uh, it should be a pretty nice little setup when it's all done. And um, yeah, today I just need to finish uh, cutting the plywood for the mount, um, and you know get that all set up so hopefully today I'll finish up the mount and maybe upload another video but anyway that's pretty much it for now uh, thanks for tuning in if you have any questions just uh, post something in the comment section thanks